now look at a critical path in scheduling. We will first understand what is a critical path. The critical path method is a sequence of scheduled activity that determines the duration of the project. This is what is quite important, duration of the project and it is the longest path and it is also the shortest duration in which the project can be completed. It can be confusing but it is pretty straightforward. So let's look at uh, this one, build a house as a project that is uh, finished house is the output of that project you have about um, six different uh, activities or it could be like uh, the as we have seen earlier dig foundation could be the work breakdown structure underneath it you dig foundation could have multiple or series of activities and similarly build walls build roofs so for just for understanding purpose let's look at it as an activity dig foundation is an activity dig walls build roof facets fixtures carpet carpet carpeting so all these are again it's all activity six activities so if you look at it dig foundations i mean you can at the same time you have you have facets that is a pipelining under the near the foundation or on, on the foundation has to happen this is just two days so in the dig foundation it is about 10 days you can have this maybe used you can start this one uh, facets to happen on anywhere on the third day fourth day or fourth or fifth fifth or sixth so at convenience you can have them so it doesn't really matter and similarly when build walls is happening you can have the fixtures maybe on the somewhere after because of course only after foundation you can start building the wall so that means the 10 days is already passed by so it is on the 11th day probably on the 21st or 22nd or 23rd day whichever date is suitable you can install the fixtures and similarly build roofing you can probably do the carpeting as well of the floor so you can maybe it is not on the critical path only this is under the critical path because that has the total duration if you look at it the total duration of the project is going to be 40 days this nine days could be phased at anywhere among these activities or even maybe later also you can you can face it so it doesn't it doesn't really impact the schedule of the project so only whichever the task or the activity in the critical path is going to impact the schedule of the project if there is going to be a delay of the of that particular activity say for example if the dig foundation instead of the 10th day it goes spills over to the 11th day or the 12th day naturally you can't start the build wall activity at all so this is going to be pushed later so if there is a going to be plus two days there is going to be a delay then it can start on only on the 13th day so that means instead of 40 days this project is going to take 42 days whereas even if this one install facets or install fixtures is going to take plus one day it doesn't really matter it doesn't impact the schedule of the project even though it could be 10 days this activity can be fitted somewhere so that it will still project still completes within 42 days or in this case because there is a delay we said 42 days otherwise it has to complete in 40 days as per the plan so as per the plan this is what is called the critical path this is what is called the critical path 10 days 20 days and total 40 days so this is in the critical path all the three activities that is dig foundation build walls and build roof is under the critical path you cannot delay any of the activity 